Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Filler. Welcome to Spine and Nerve Health. For those who suffer from back and nerve pain, one of the most frightening suggestions is the prospect of open invasive back surgery. Long considered the only surgical solution, traditional back surgery is a complex, serious procedure with a multitude of lasting effects. From the long-term recoveries to lingering pain and even the possibility of little to no improvement, traditional back surgeries require serious consideration on the part of both patient and physicians. As everyone should know, it may even be worse after back surgery. Fortunately, medical advances have resulted in new techniques that are minimally invasive, that is, the patient experiences almost none of the traditional cutting and stitching associated with regular surgeries. And because they're minimally invasive, these procedures mean the patient can often go home the same day and return to work in a matter of days rather than weeks. I pioneered the use of open MR guided injections and I'm excited to have the opportunity to help educate you about the possible benefits If you or a loved one is contemplating back surgery, you may wish to consider an open MR guided procedure first. There are many types of back surgery available to physicians trying to help alleviate or eliminate pain. Probably the most well-known types of back surgery include the disc operation and the lumbar fusion. Both of these involve opening the patient where giving the surgeon an opportunity to address problems in the discs or the joints between the spinal vertebrae. These are notorious for residual pain, long recovery times, and even occasional worsening of the patient. Disc-based back surgery has earned its reputation as a last resort option for obvious reasons. Through the years, surgeons have developed procedures to avoid full-scale back surgery. One such procedure is the selective nerve root block. Similar to an open MR guided injection, the selective block is performed using an injection of various medications in a minimally invasive approach. For most physicians doing blocks, the imaging solution of choice remains x-ray fluoroscopy. Unlike open MR injections, which use harmless MRI pulses, fluoroscopy features repeated doses of x-ray irradiation. Plus, it requires an illumination agent in the patient's body to identify the correct injection location. And fluoroscopy isn't as effective in many soft tissue areas of the body because it requires x-ray visible landmarks to help the surgeons accurately navigate. It does not show muscles or nerves at all. During fluoroscopy, harmful X-ray radiation dosages mount rapidly, second by second. In some X-ray fluoroscopic or CT-guided procedures, the patient receives an X-ray dosage as high as 500 times the amount in a chest X-ray or 1,000 times the amount in a dental X-ray. Worse, because X-ray guidance only provides two-dimensional images as opposed to MRI's three-dimensional imagery, the physician is often forced to use the injection needle to explore along the bone surface to find the target. This dramatically increases the pain to the patient and is unheard of with open MRI guided procedures. So while there are alternatives to open MRI guided injections for some types of procedures, none provides patients with a short recovery time, relatively pain-free impact, and wide array of possible treatment options and results that open MRI guided injections provide. One of the most exciting advances in spine and back surgery today is the advent of open MR guided injections. I helped pioneer this technique while working at UCLA along with other noted researchers such as Robert Lufkin, an ENT radiologist. In fact, Lufkin needles are used in a great many MRI procedures today. In the 10 years since the first open MR guided injection was performed at UCLA, I've helped thousands of patients achieve a healthy, pain-free lifestyle without the trauma and lingering impact of regular back surgery. This minimally invasive technique combines the accuracy and safety of MR imaging with the comfort and relief of a simple injection. This is particularly true when compared to the pain and recovery times associated with traditional surgeries. What makes an open MR injection open? It's all in the use of open-air designed magnetic resonance systems. 
Manufacturers like Philips, Siemens, and GE developed these systems to help reduce the claustrophobic nature of first-generation MR tunnel systems. Yet, in doing so, manufacturers also provided surgeons with the perfect environment in which to conduct minimally invasive surgeries, while using the scanner to provide real-time feedback. It's this use of continual scans that helps surgeons determine the location of spine and nerve pain with pinpoint accuracy. That's the MR-guided part of the equation. Here's where the injection comes in. Once the pain center has been located, the surgeon can then insert a very fine needle into the patient. The surgeon then begins a series of small injections, including steroids, anesthetics, botulinum toxin, or Botox as it's widely known, or hyaluronidase, an anti-scarring agent, to help diagnose the cause of the pain and deliver appropriate treatments directly to it. More often than not, Patients discover that an open MR injection is the preferred method to resolve their back pain. Gone are the days when surgeons would automatically recommend invasive back surgery. And unlike selective nerve root blocks, doctors using open MR guided injections never need to rely on bone structures to navigate. Advanced magnetic resonance imagery gives the surgeon a real-time three-dimensional vantage point into the soft tissue areas, resulting in faster procedures and better results. For many patients with spine and nerve pain issues, open MR guided injections are an important consideration in their health strategy. The safety of magnetic resonance imaging means there is absolutely no harmful radiation dosage administered to the patient. And the minimally invasive nature of the needle-based injection leads to a faster recovery with less lingering impact and more positive outcomes case by case. Ask your doctor if open MR guided injections are right for your condition. For more and more patients, it's the right choice for their treatment plan.